Hi everyone, Linda and Miss Millie here. Uh, just a few more finds from charity shops. Uh, this is a little brooch. It was broken, so that was going to be thrown away. So that cost me nothing. But it's really pretty. You have to excuse me. I'm in the in the kitchen today, and uh, the dishwasher's on. So sorry about the noise. That was just a little button that came off a jacket that was going to get thrown away because it was damaged. This was a part of a bracelet that was broken, um, so that again that was going to get thrown away, so that was nothing, but they're really little pretty individual flowers on it, so uh, saved that from the, uh, the trash. And then I got these two little dishes, one is, uh, this is Royal Grafton. And it's really pretty, it's, it's lovely. It's not very big, it's probably about three inches across, but it's really sweet. And then this one's a Royal Albert one, again, about the same size. And I got those for an absolute bargain price because um, they'd been out on the shelf for some time and nobody had wanted them. So they were a good price. Just bear with me, I'm gonna turn this washer off. This washer. in it. It's a quite a large uh, birdcage type affair but it's, it's sort of quite distressed. Uh, it's quite heavy. It's steel or some sort of metal. It's very heavy but I thought that would be lovely at Halloween. Maybe filled with pumpkins and different things and skulls and stuff and then at Christmas uh, maybe with some lights and Christmassy things hanging in there so I was really pleased with that and that was three pounds so that was a, a good bargain and that's Miss Millie just having a drink of water sorry about all the sound effects today uh, now these all these linens were for free because they're damaged and not in a saleable condition um, and they were going to be what we call ragged. A ragman comes and takes things away. As you can see, it's got a few stains and things on. But it's got some beautiful cutwork in this. This is a tablecloth. And I thought that, if it was actually cut, if I get in frame, cut out, it would look a bit Christmassy. Um, I don't know whether I'd do it around that edge or actually go in between. But the fabric's, um, it's not cotton. I would think it's some sort of a nylon, nylon base type thing. Um, but there's other nice applique areas in that. So as I say, that costs nothing. And then this is a cotton tablecloth. It's a lovely colour. Uh, it's a little bit darker than it's coming across on screen. Again, it's got some stainage on it, but I've not washed them yet, so I don't know if any will come out. I mean, if they do come out, I should take them back to the shop and, uh, you know, let them resell them. And I'll just have laundered them for them, but some stains. But that's really pretty. And again, it's got all this lovely lace on the edge. It's really nice. Uh, this one actually isn't damaged. It was just caught up in some of the pieces that I was given that were damaged. So that's a nice, nice doily. Green on it. Quite old, that. It's very delicate. I think they were throwing that away just because they didn't think anybody could do anything with it. I don't know that I will or not, but uh, it's there anyway. And then there was this table runner, which is quite plain. I think it's actually quite old. It's got some age to it. It is it is ripped, but obviously I can make use of it, the fabric. I want to have a go at making some of the fabrics on stems that Diana Spare Marvel 2012's done. If you've not seen her video, go and have a look because they're really pretty. And then another little lace hanky that's a bit tattered and worn around the edges, but it'll it'll probably come in for something or other. Another little vintage hanky that again is quite old. It's really delicate. Got that little pretty corner to it and the lovely edging. Really dainty. Probably too dainty to do anything with it. Just another little 
embroidered piece and then this is lovely this is um, a, a sort of a table center piece it's got this beautiful lace round it on the outside and then it's really pretty in the middle and I think with that I mean again it's got some stainage and things but Trisha a little shabby sheet was saying about tea dyeing using um, loose leaf tea in a muslin bag and some of the colours that she got were were really nice so I think I might give that a go on that and this is lovely and that's just got a little bit of staining on it doily I'm trying to I've got my camera to slightly different my iPad at a slightly different angle to try and make it easier for you to see things because I just don't know how to make it zoom out or even if it does and then this 